What is up everybody, Alex Rana Creates here, and today I want to talk to you about transitioning from 32-bit to 64-bit software on your Mac, making sure that you have the right tools to make your transition into the latest Mac OS X as smooth as possible. Let's get into it. At the time of filming this video, coming very soon is Mac OS X Big Sur. Now, Big Sur is going to be the second version of Mac OS that only supports 64-bit plugins. But for those of us in the music industry who use Pro Tools, you'll know that we just only recently got the okay from Avid that Pro Tools is now officially compatible with Mac OS X Catalina. Ironically, that announcement came one day after Big Sur was announced. So my hope in making this video is to help you transition from OS X Mojave to OS X Catalina before Big Sur is actually released so that you'll have all of your stuff on the latest compatible version of Mac OS X because we all know that Pro Tools is not going to be compatible officially for another six to nine months. However, we can be on the latest version of Catalina as that is supported and lots of people are reporting it quite stable for the latest version of Pro Tools. Up until now, we've had 32-bit and 64-bit plugins, but they worked together. However, now Apple has simply just cut off 32-bit plugins altogether. Up until this point, some could have just left their stuff unupdated for a while, and while there were minor bugs, it would still generally work. Now, at a surface glance, it's not easy to tell if your software is 32-bit or 64-bit. However, there are tools which I'm gonna show you today that I've been using to just scan my software and make sure that I have all of the 64-bit versions or to know which software is not gonna be up to date, whether it's free software that never got updated or old software that I've been using. We now have to check if it's going to be available or not, if there is an update and how much it's gonna cost so that we can look at alternative softwares if we need to. So today I'm gonna to show you two different softwares that I've been using. You do not need to use both of them and you can just use one piece of software and it will show you everything that you really need to know. The first piece of software, which has been going through the audio engineering community since the early days of Catalina, is called Go64. It is a free piece of software that anybody can download, and essentially what it does is it scans your computer and all your applications and tells you which ones are 64-bit compatible and which ones are 32-bit only or have 32-bit components that are going to be problematic once you upgrade. The second tool that I use is called Clean My Mac X, which is a paid piece of software. If you get it through Set App, you can get it for $9.99 a month. And frankly, if all you're doing is using it for upgrade, you could just get Set App for one month just to use this piece of software. Clean My Mac does do much more than just finding the 32-bit plugins. It does so much in terms of cleaning up your operating system and all of those files that you don't need anymore and helping uninstall software, which as you know, on a Mac sometimes isn't the easiest to try and uninstall. So it is a great piece of software to look into as it is very useful for things beyond what we're talking about today with 64-bit software. So let's dive into the software and I'm gonna give you a brief overview of how I use them and how to scan your 64-bit and 32-bit software to know what you're up against to find out what to do next. The first piece of software I'm going to show you is called Go64, which is a free application that you can download at the link in the description below. You'll notice once I open it, if you have scanned already, it'll say that it's reloaded your scan. If you haven't used it before or in a while, it's going to automatically start scanning. The thing we do need to make sure is that over here on the top left-hand corner, that scan is the Macintosh HD or whatever your main hard drive is that has your operating system on it and all your software. And then we're looking for applications to see which ones are 32-bit so that we know what ones we have to be wary of. Then the next thing is we want to show only 32-bit plugins so that we can actually see just the ones that we actually have to deal with so that we can look at them and make our list of what we need to upgrade or what we don't need anymore. So that's what we have to do. And then you can click scan or rescan up there if it's not automatically already scanned. It's only going to take a minute to scan everything. It really doesn't take that long. And you'll see the progress bar down at the bottom. Once the scan is complete, now we have a list of all the applications or pieces of software that are 32-bit only in some capacity. We have the version number so we know where we are when we're trying to research what version of the software we have versus the newest versions. Some developers will have released a 64-bit version that we're just not up to date on or that we actually need to buy an upgrade to get the 64-bit version. But the one thing that we do need to be aware of on our comprehensive list is right here in the 64-bit column. We have no, meaning it is 32-bit, and then there's ones with this little yellow triangle with an exclamation mark. If we click on this, the bottom here, we can see 
that this app is 64-bit except for this framework file. So it's telling us what part of that software is not 64-bit and is only 32-bit. It's just good to know in your research while you're looking up all these different pieces of software to determine whether you need them or whether you don't or whether there's an upgrade for free or not, what you're looking at and what the possible problems will be when you upgrade your OS. The second piece of software that I'm gonna show you is called Clean My Mac X. So what we're gonna do is once it's installed, we're gonna open it up and then we're gonna go on the smart scan, which is where it's gonna open up first. We're just gonna hit scan. Obviously there's lots of different things that this software can do and this scan is scanning more than we need to. Once the scan process is done, we go over to the left hand side. As you can see, there's lots of different options. But what we're going for is down here to applications and the uninstaller tab. When we click on the uninstaller tab, we then go and find the 32-bit tab within that uninstaller tab. And then we have a list of all the 32-bit pieces of software that we can see right here. This is more of a double check based on what Go64 had. The other added bonus is that from this menu, just click it and uninstall it right from here so we don't have to deal with any of its other files or anything after the fact. Once you've gone through all your software and you've updated what you need to and are aware and gotten rid of the software that you don't need, then we go on to the next step, which is make sure you do a backup of your system before you do any upgrading of the Mac OS. Things can go wrong and it's better safe than sorry. I'm currently working on a video about how to back up your operating system and all your files and just making sure that you are actually backing up regularly and efficiently. So I highly recommend checking that out. It'll be in the description below and up here when it's ready. The next thing to do is go ahead and update. Once Mac OS X Big Sur comes out, it is going to be significantly harder to get Catalina. It just won't be straight up in the App Store. I will leave a link to the Catalina installer once that happens in the description below if you are late to the party. But thank you so much for watching this video. If that helped you, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any other software that you use or tips and tricks to make sure that everybody as up to date as possible. Leave a comment down below with anything that you use. Let's all help each other out moving forward. And with that being said, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next video. Peace.